People, people, uh, let's continue with our analysis of this new MATLAB 2013A. Uh, I'm quite blown away uh, on a few areas. I've already put out one video. Uh, another area that I do get excited by is, um, let me just show you uh, the statistics toolbox. This one right here is an exciting one as we move into PCA and it's probabilistic PCA um, using uh, least squared um, algorithms. So this has been enhanced in the statistics toolbox um, and there's also support now for support vector machines. Uh, I know there's been some uh, experimentation in finance for this. Um, my partner crime has tried it in the past, not so much success, but maybe this may, may improve things. Who knows, but this, this alone right here is just amazing what uh, the new statistics toolbox has got. All right, let's move into uh, the Simulink, and one of the big ones is uh, I'm finding, if I'm not sure if this is a new feature, but uh, there's the HDL verifier. Now, what does that mean? Uh, for those that are wanting to get into high frequency trading uh, using FPGA, uh, this is a really good option, or the looks of it is lo looks really good. Um, HDL is the hardware description language that is used within all the major uh, 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 boards for FPGA from Altera, Xilinx. Um, so it looks like there's some been uh, improvements here. Um, and it also includes uh, a test bench uh, and FPGA in the loop. Now I'm no expert in this, but from what I've seen, uh, you usually need a third party uh, piece of software that uh, will test against your, your simulating model just before you uh, synthesize it onto an FPGA board. I think this may improve that. I, I'm not sure if it's in a replacement, but I'll need to investigate this down the line. It'll be quite a while before I actually visit it, but uh, either way, it's going to be an improvement. They haven't taken anything away, so it's got to be obviously a good thing. Now, um, <clears throat> one of the things I really like about Simulink is if you haven't seen my videos on the capabilities of Simulink and what you can do with Simulink, uh, be prepared to have your jaw dropped. Um, the MathWorks has really uh, improved the Simulink editor. I watched this video. Um, it's quite powerful uh, and uh, it just gets better and better on each release. Um, and uh, they seem to be really listening to their customers. Um, maybe they may uh, start making it easier for people in the financial world to use Simulink as a way to build strategies and obviously down the line you, you, <coughs> you can build <coughs> very sophisticated uh, trading strategies with Simulink and you can do that all visually. Um, now uh, part of the process is let's say from Simulink I'll be doing demos of this uh, on Wednesday on how to take a Simulink visual model and convert it into something like a C or C++ you do that through the Simulink model. Now, again, with the Simulink 2000, or sorry, the 2012 release, A, eh, there's been some more improvements. Um, I'm not sure, again, where and how. Um, I'll take any improvement, obviously, but there has been some uh, uh, improvements um, with the CP, C and API access. Uh, this one looks interesting because optimized interface for Simulink functions called in state flow. So again, that's where all your event-based um, uh, stuff happens within the state flow. So we'll take that for sure. Thank you very much. Um, and uh, I don't know where to go from here. It just it just gets better and better and better. Uh, and uh, just so people know, there's a new webinar. Uh, looks like it's been posted. How you can use um, MATLAB as a production server for financial applications. Uh, so be on the lookout for all this stuff. It's very exciting indeed. Uh, and uh, hopefully we'll get our hands on it and uh, start uh, teaching the
Quant Labs Premium Membership on how to use all this stuff over the next few months. And as I keep saying, MATLAB seems to be a really powerful way to uh, not only develop your trading models and strategies, uh, but also now with this new release in 2013 to actually deploy your models into a production environment. So very exciting to see all this and uh, let's uh, take some more look at, look at more investigating and I'll put up more videos and blogs postings as I investigate this further with the new release for 2013. Good job MathWorks.